What's up, guys? Okay, so in a day or two, we are getting a dual rerun banner with two amazing characters. So before their release, I thought I would take some time to give kind of a good insight onto uh, one of the more controversial characters in terms of their power. Albedo, being a Geo user, has a very different place in terms of where everything can fit in. He's not only a Geo user, but he is a support character or a sub character, meaning he's not going to be the main character on your roster like uh, Eula would be. So in this video, I'm going to try to break down the goods and the bads for Albedo. Uh, to set my biased side, uh, I do have him level 90. I do have him fully built, and I'm pretty sure I have him crowned. I have him crowned. So with my biases in present, when I start talking about the goods and the bads, please take it with a grain of salt, uh, because I do think he is a very good character, but he is a very niche character and is not best for everybody. And that's because of the certain points I'm going to be breaking up in the future. Okay, so the good points. What's good about this character? This character pro provides a great support role. He can provide a lot of shielding. It doesn't seem like a lot when you start using him, but the second the crystallization procs start happening, uh, while it does suck that those take over your other elemental reactions, uh, it does provide a lot of shielding on the ground, which can be very beneficial, especially if you build him in the support role with the tenacity set. Now, what type of damage do you do? So, I personally run him with the DPS set. I run him as a DPS, a sub DPS, rather than a support. But I do that simply because I have Jean Lee and I don't need a support. So, uh, I find this very good, especially as a support character. Um, he provides a lot of DPS, which we will show in just a second. Um, but he also provides the shielding and I think some elemental mastery. Okay, yeah, so I was kind of right. Uh, when you use his ultimate, uh, you get your nearby party members get 125 elemental mastery. So you do provide some elemental mastery as a support character. Um, but, I mean, if you're using him, you're probably not going after elemental mastery. I'm going to be honest. You're going after that um, sub DPS or that support from the shielding. What that means, the sub DPS roll is much like the official roll, but instead of providing electric, it provides um, geo because they function almost in the same way. Uh, official who can uh, pull out their ability with E and then you switch off of them. Albedo functions the exact same way where you put down your E and then switch off of them. Um, and elemental mastery and elemental synergy aside, those two produce roughly the same amount of numbers. I have these both built for their DPS sets or sub DPS sets, and they provide roughly about the same amount of damage. So what type of damage do they provide? Well, let's go show you. All right, so I have entered a domain that's uh, relatively good for showing off damage. It's not meant to be cleared fast, it, or mm, it's not meant to be cleared in a kind of uh, speedy way. There, in, There's a lot of small, normal minions, not like these big hilly churls or mini churls, I think they're called. Um, no, uh, like, agent, special agents or those new samurai creatures with tons of HP. Uh, more realistic characters that are normally out in the world. And that's why I typically use this one. Uh, for showing off DPS as well as it's really easy to just to group up these characters to show the DPS numbers being shown So we're gonna go ahead and group them up and then I'm gonna switch to Albedo and then as you can see We've got some damage numbers and then for his ultimate You can see about 21 K's and 6 K procs um, Those can be actually augmented by a fair amount um, Those uh, obviously I don't think I saw any of them crit um, and there was no real uh, team buffs going on. I didn't provide any of my team buffs. You know, Zhang Li Shield provides a really good buff. Um, and then some other four stars provide a really good buff. Uh, any any character synergy also provides a nice buff. Um, I typically, when I'm doing an actual 
uh, trial or running with him, I typically see anywhere between 10 to 14,000 for those procs, which is very good. Now, keep in mind, I actually have him built pretty well. Not only that, but I have him crowned, so he is going to do that amount of damage. Um, are there other characters? Yes, but we will get into the bad sides of Albedo very soon. So, besides the he he provides enough damage for your team if you build him. What other good things does he bring along? Um, he's just like Fischl. He doesn't provide that much good. He's a very niche character. He provides great shielding, uh, great defense, uh, and decent amount of damage. That's, I mean, that's about it. That's And that's all you can ask for support. He doesn't offer any healing. Um, so you kind of have to make it up with it from the, make up for it with the DPS and with um, the defense and shielding that he provides. Which, if you build him with the tenacity, the shielding, and the buff is actually pretty good because um, with tenacity, uh, when you inflict damage, uh, your attack is increased when you inflict damage with your skills, which will be constantly proccing for Obedo way more than it will for um, Zhang Li. Uh, so that's a very good thing. Now for the bad side. Why shouldn't you pull for Albedo? Um, And this is only if you're trying to a min-max care about how much premios you spend like if you're very conservative on minor premios which is what this video is proposing uh i'm trying to provide the good and the bad because he has plenty of good i use him all the time he's amazing i have almost every five star in the game and i still use him so it shows that he has some benefit now here is the caveat caveat um caveat to that i don't think he's that good at c0 his biggest increase in damage comes from his constellation too this gives a secondary stack called fatal reckoning whenever you use uh your uh elemental skill uh when and when it stacks up to its final amount of stacks which i think is four um when you use your ultimate uh your it'll increase the damage uh to show what kind of damage that can do uh i will play a clip right here Use that. Use that. Bop! 70,000! Oh my god. That clip, uh, I was using, um, a lot of buffs. I m it was literally a, a buff just to show how good he can do for damage. Um, so he does, it does take a lot of work. But that's not fully true, because you can do that in a normal team setting. I got it to do 76k if I was doing potions and everything else, but it's super easy to build up his stuff to do that, uh, because you literally just have to place your elemental skill down, use your normal, once you you use your normal, like, main DPS rotation, and then when that's over, you switch back to him, use your ultimate, and then boom, free damage. It doesn't have to, it doesn't take any skill to build it up. So... I mean, that's good and that's bad. If you can get C2, it's very good. If you can get C2, I honestly would recommend this character. I absolutely would. At C1 and C0, probably less so. He is... The only reason you should be pulling him for C0 or C1 uh, would be if you really like the character, to be honest. Uh, without that buff, his damage is far less. It, it it almost like triples his damage output from just the difference between C0 and C2 or C1 and C2. Um, his elemental skill do, still do, does do a nice bit amount of damage whenever you do place it. And then because it procs on elemental skills from other or elemental skills and elemental bursts from other people, that's literally free DPS. So you could build a reaction comp. You know, anything that procs off of... Like what I used to do. I used to do uh, Yoimiya Elemental Skill with Jin Q's Ultimate, Albedo's Elemental Skill, and then Zhang Li for support. Um, and that would do a lot of damage because that proc would be doing anywhere between 12 and 14k per proc uh, on top of the elemental reaction happening from Yoimiya and Jin Q. So it was basically a free 14k uh, damage or 14k DPS for literally having a character exist inside your party. Uh, not to mention 
uh, the buffs that he brings from the shielding and everything else. Um, that being said, the other downfall is you really have to build him. I have, he's doing that amount of damage because I have him with the DPS set. I have him geo damage and I have elemental skill damage or elemental, elemental burst damage, as well as I have him a really, really high crit rate, which I mean, I'd prefer lowering it to higher up my crit damage, but you know, artifact luck. Um, and then uh, it, it's literally all centered around just doing damage. I built him as a DPS and not as a support. And when you build him as a support, those damage numbers lower significantly, making him less viable. Especially if you don't have the ability to crown his ability or even get it up to level nine. Now, this being said, there is a new, he is getting a sword themed around him because uh, they're releasing a new event with him. Uh, we don't know. Oh, actually, we do know the stats open. It was released. Yeah, he's getting a new weapon that looks really, really good. And it's really, really good for him as well as a new artifact set, which I don't know. We know that I keep forgetting that they released this information. Um, a new sword and an artifact set that greatly enhances capabilities, giving him both damage and defense, both of which he scales with. Um, so I can see his damage numbers going up extremely amount, uh, extremely, amount, extremely large amount. That being said, I still, unless you like him as a character and just want him because his Bondo, I don't know. It's up to you. I don't want to give my honest opinion. Uh, I, I well, my honest opinion is don't do it um, unless you can get him to C2. If you can't get him to C2, only pull from if you like them. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so uh, I had finished recording the video and I forgot to include this. Uh, another downside to Albedo is he his all of his DPS does come from his constructs, which are incredibly bad. And why that is, is uh, bosses and the Oceanid. Can't place them. Uh, another example about for other bosses is uh, is the actual big bosses themselves. You know, the weekly bosses or the uh, uh, every single one of the bosses that you have to farm for uh, ascension material. Um, he they just kind of destroy it. So things like that, th big bosses like that, uh, you can't really use them on because he just he, he is uh, everything about him to destroy all of his kit is removed off the map um now and there's really nothing that can be done it's an issue that's existed for since the start of the game for every geo construct user um there's also another issue where you can't have more i don't have the ability to show it but you can only have three constructs on at the same time um which uh in the coming update when we have two new geo user come out uh that could be a very problem because they want to genshin wants to push a four geo comp which would be nice i am all for i'm personally going to go do that over on my twitch um the issue is you can only have three constructs out and the second you place a fourth one it disappears like that um so with four characters, all of which having a construct, it it's impossible to have all your constructs field. So you got to sac you got to sacrifice one of them if you have four geo users. If you don't have four geo users, you only have three. Well, then you're not having a problem. Uh, but it is just another downside to think about when pulling for the character. Uh, I I hope you all enjoyed this video. The he has about as many pros as he does cons. He has a great amount of issues with a great amount of blessings. I absolutely love the character, so it's not that bad of an investment if you do get him. Um, if you get him C0, he can still work. He can still do great. The only place that he would struggle in at C0 is Spiral Abyss. And honestly, I wouldn't. I don't bring him into the Spiral Abyss uh, if, unless I need a secondary shielder. If I need a secondary shielder, I typically bring him in. Um, but... There's so many better team synergy comps to work for Spiral Abyss, and honestly, Spiral Abyss doesn't even matter. So, in just the overworld and 90% of domains, maybe 99% of domains, uh, he is really good. So, I 
honestly i'd recommend him he's really good c0 um not so good i probably wouldn't recommend c0 um c2 is where i really recommend him which is i mean that's honestly that's whale territory so not you know nobody can really do that realistically well not i should say nobody but most people can't do it realistically so with the information you have at hand uh i mean take it as you will hopefully it's um good information for you and it helps sway your opinion on whether going for albedo or eula and or if going for any of them um anyways uh if you want to see me doing theory tests and showing off how great he is because i use him a lot uh you can watch me over at twitch.tv forward slash monochrome and i will see you all in the next video bye